Hi, I'm Jessica Edwards and I am here with Niall today. Um, we are celebrating International Education Month here on campus and globally. And so I wanted to do a little interview with Niall to learn more about why he is here at NTWU. So introduce yourself. Yeah, so I'm Niall Tunney. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Belfast, a small town just outside Belfast in the north of Ireland. Um, how I arrived at NTWU, uh, I applied for uh, a thing called the Study SA program, which is a year-long scholarship for students between years th two and three at university back home. So I'm not actually an NTWU student, I'm just a year abroad. Um, I go to Queen's University in Belfast, which is my home city. So I've done two years at Queen's, I then do my year here, and then I'll go back to Queen's and graduate. Awesome. Um, so what interested you in studying abroad? What, are, what do you think the benefits are and what was your initial interest? Um, I think my initial interest sort of came from wanting to get a bit outside my comfort zone. Like I'm from Belfast, mm -hmm. I own a university in Belfast, um, so I've been there my whole life. Um, so to come away to somewhere like 3,000 miles away with a five hour time zone, you know, it really does like test you. And then other benefits, I think, is just meeting a lot, so many people from mm -hmm. different cultures. Like we're so blessed to have a massive international community here at Wesleyan. Um, and then just to like experience, you know, college life in the States, you know, it's very different to back home. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a nice change as well. You know, I love university back home. I love being here. So to have had both experiences, I feel in a very privileged position. Yeah. Um, are there any benefits with your work in the future? So like... Yeah, I would say definitely my, I become a lot more employable from mm -hmm. doing a year abroad. You know, I've shown that I can work and you know manage my load on an international schedule as well as home and um, even just being able to you know talk speak to people from different nationalities different countries and um, i think that'll definitely benefit me in the future ahead of people who have maybe just done like three years of university at home okay cool and then what is study usa like what is the history of that program yeah so study usa it was founded it was 1994 i think so the idea behind it was to give, uh, basically from 1972 to 1998 in Northern Ireland, uh, we had a period of time called the Troubles where there was a bit of sectarian conflict and it maybe wasn't the nicest place to live and to study. So the idea behind the Study SA programme was to give students the opportunity to go to America for one year and experience college life. Um, so they take about 54 students every year um, and it's a really nice package, you know, we get fees waived, we get study SA cover our like accommodation costs, our meal plan, stuff like that. Um, and then what we have to do as part of that, uh, we have 15 hours of class a week, we have to do a 3.0 GPA, we have to do like ambassadorial presentations for Ireland, so this being one of them. Mm -hmm. um, what else? I think that that's the main points, but yeah, I think the idea was just to like get people out of Ireland at the time. Obviously it's a much nicer place now, but at the time it was to like give people the opportunity to get abroad and experience maybe a college life that they weren't getting back home. Yeah, and what's your major back home? Uh, economics and finance. Okay, and so when you're here, what are you I studying? I do business administration here. That's okay. part of the program to do business related subjects. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Um, so if, if there was a student maybe in high school or uh, college even and they are looking into studying abroad what would you tell them um i would definitely say expect the unexpected i don't think there's much you can really tell someone until they're actually like you have to come and experience mm -hmm. it like we had loads of orientation days and things like that and yes you're told like useful bits of information but i don't feel like you're gonna get any sort of grasp on mm -hmm. it until you're actually here so definitely just be prepared for that um maybe reach out to people who are at the mm -hmm. college in advance. Like I, I'd reached out to Emer, who was here last yeah. year, um, but there was no one actually here this year that I'd been speaking to, which maybe in hindsight I should have done just to mm -hmm. like grasp how things were here. Um, but yeah, I think just definitely, you know, sort of trust yourself that yes, it might not be smooth sailing at the start, but definitely as you like ease into things and get into the swing of things like you have an unbelievable time definitely and you'll meet some of the most amazing people. Yeah. What are some things that have helped you adjust to being in the United States? 
Um, I think I'm very lucky to have a very good group of friends here at Wesleyan, definitely. Um, I think keeping in contact with home as well. Mm. Like I, I chat with my mum and dad every day, and my brother and sister. Um, it's really nice just to like hear about everything that's going on at home, and then they obviously want to hear about what I'm getting up to here. Um, and I think just get, like giving yourself the time, and like when things aren't going as well, just be like, yeah, I mean, it might be a little bit rough now, but yeah. you know, a week from now, two weeks from now, you know, I'll be back on top, feeling my best. Like now you've just, almost made it. Yeah, I know. Like I, I, go, I go home next Tuesday, I can't wait, but I've had an unbelievable semester as well. That's awesome. And did you do any sports or ex like extra things while you were here this yeah, semester? Yeah, um, I was playing on the soccer team, which is again, okay. like, opened me up to meet so, so many new people, so many different countries, cultures, um, and just an amazing, amazing group of people. That's awesome. Couldn't be more grateful to be playing on it. That's cool. Um, okay, what is the the biggest thing that you've learned, and not just in general, but because of studying abroad? So this, if you look at this semester, what is your big, biggest takeaway from studying abroad? I would say, like, we talked about like employability mm -hmm. earlier, and maybe that's like your hard skills. I think your soft skills, like your resilience, your communication mm -hmm. and stuff, like that comes on massively here because you know, like you're on your own, and mm -hmm. you're having to talk to people who maybe English isn't their first language, and sort of make conversation like that. Uh, there's so many different things; it's hard to pick one. So I, I think you just learn a lot about yourself, mm -hmm. um, and just how when you're out of like your support network and away from everything that you're used to, how you as a person like, operate and deal with, you know, these little problems that life throws at you. Yeah, like they were there, but you didn't get to yeah. use them until you were here. Yeah, because like back home, it's very easy, just anything goes wrong, you know, 20 minute drive up the mum and dad, yeah. you know, cooked meal. Um, whereas here, it's just learning how to like deal with it and move past it. Mm, it's huge. Um, what is the difference in your school in, at Queens, right? Queens yeah. and Belfast, and North Carolina Western? I guess that. Uh, so I, I would say, firstly, the student population. We have about what, 2,000 students at Western. Queens has 25,000. Um, but just the size of the facilities and everything at Queens, it's massive. Even staff, like Queen's 2400 academic staff, mm. and that's just it. Uh, Wesleyan was founded in what, 1956? Yeah. And Queen's was 1845, so obviously it's a lot older and it's had a lot more chance to grow. Um, I would say it's less common to live on campus back mm -hmm. home. Obviously, like we're all, in, most of us are in dorms. Uh, back home, I would live in like a student house, which is maybe like a five, ten minute walk mm -hmm. from where most of my classes are. Um, the sports scene isn't nearly as big back home as it is here. Like uh, the majority of Wesleyan is maybe a student athlete or involved in some sort mm -hmm. of sport off campus. But Queen's that just isn't the case at all. Um, there's so many. Like it is so so different, but like the di it's in a good way almost. Like to be able to, to experience both. Like I'm very lucky. Um, I would say that's probably the most. I would say just sheer scale is the mm -hmm. major one. Like the library at Queen's, it can take like 2,000 people. I'm not sure that <laughs> a library here could, but nah, it, it just, I would say scale is yeah. definitely the minimum. Yeah. Okay, so the last question is what are your plans when you, you'll finish this year? Yeah. So you'll finish in May and then you go home. What happens next regarding your education? Yeah, so before I knew I was going to be accepted on the study, I said I'd had a year long internship with a company called Fintry, I find mm -hmm. and they work with like regulating tier one investment banks. So I was meant to do that this year, but I've managed to push it back to next year. Mm -hmm. So I'll come home in May, I'll have May and June off, and then July, I'll go to Fintry, and that's a year long internship. So I'll work to the end of June in 2025. Okay. And then I'll start back at Queens in September of that year, and then graduate the following May, hopefully. So yeah, I've got it all, all planned out. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you and very we've, much. And we've loved having Niall here on our campus this semester, and we'll get you for one more semester. Yeah. <laughs> and then hopefully see you sometime in the future. I would say so, yeah, definitely. All right. Thank you. Thank you.